Hey, Dr. McCann here, and today we're gonna to go over the pap smear. So, what even is a pap smear? A pap smear is cervical cancer screening test. So a pap smear is not just if you have an exam with the speculum, um, because there's other reasons you may need the exam. A pap smear is when you actually do the cervical cancer screening test. And so what does that mean? So here's the cervix. The pap smear just tests for cells right here on the cervix. Um, what I tell my patients is it doesn't test for abnormal cells in the uterus, and it doesn't test for abnormal cells on the ovary. It just is for cervical cancer screening, which right here is the cervix. The cervix is the opening to the uterus, and so this is all that the pap smear tests for. So how is the pap smear done? First of all, um, there is something called a speculum. There's a plastic speculum. There's also metal speculum. So either one of these can be used, okay? So the speculum is inserted into the vagina. It is opened just enough to see the cervix, or the opening of the uterus right there, okay? So when the speculum's inserted and we can see the cervix, we can take the brush and just get a few cells from right here on the cervix and we send those cells to the pathologist. So we collect them. We go ahead and put it in this liquid right here, swirl it around, um, cover this back up, and then we send this, called the pap smear, to the pathologist, and this is called cytology. And the pap smear lets your no. OBGYN um, if the cells are normal or abnormal. And again, for cervical cancer screening, um, the actual pap smear um, does not cover STDs. You can add that on there, but pap smear, cervical cancer screening. So when do you even need uh, to get your pap smear? So we go by the recommendations from the U.S. Preventative Task Force on Cervical Cancer uh, Screening and Prevention, um, which includes you don't actually even need a pap smear if you're under 21. So under 21, you don't need a pap smear. You um, may still need an exam and you may need a speculum exam um, to see if there's any problems um, or for STD screening, things like that. But the actual cervical cancer screening test, you don't need. If you are 21 to 29 years old, um, it's recommended to get the cytology, which is the brush I just showed you, um, every three years if it's normal. If it's abnormal, you may need it sooner than that but if it's normal every three years. If you're 30 to 65, you can get the pap smear or the cytology by itself every three years. You can get HPV testing every five years, or you can get the cytology and the HPV testing every five years. And again, um, those recommendations on if your pap smear is normal and you don't have or a high grade pap smear, if it doesn't come back significantly, significantly abnormal or precancer, um, that's the recommendations. If it comes back abnormal, then there are different recommendations to follow. If you're over 65 and all your pap smears have been normal and you don't have a history of a high grade pap smear, you actually don't need screening anymore. And if you've had a hysterectomy with your cervix removed and you don't have a history of high grade pap smears, then you don't need screening anymore either. Um, so again, pap smear under the age of 21, you don't need it. Um, more than likely, also another complaint that I, or another something, uh, something else that I hear quite often is you just got your pap smear last week in the emergency room. When you come to your doctor for a visit, um, you tell them you just got your pap smear. Um, they might have done an exam in the emergency room, but most of the time they're not actually gonna do a pap smear or cervical cancer screening test. Um, so when you go to your uh, doctor's office in the clinic, they may choose to go ahead and uh, repeat that. So under the age of 21, no pap smear, hysterectomy um, with removal of the cervix and normal pap smears, you don't need screening either.